Hello YouTube land, it's Debbie from the Canadian Crotcheter. Today is Tuesday, October 17th. Uh, it's been a while. I haven't made a video in a while. Um, the reason I do this is just to like kind of like show because in my real world nobody gives a you know what over crochet. So um, that's why I started this channel. It's just to say, hey, look what I made. <laughs> um, but unfortunately, I haven't done a lot of crocheting in the last little while, so I didn't see the need to post a video. But I've had a few people ask me where I am, what am I up to? What am I up to? Uh, I did very little crochet. I made um, a little tummy time mat for a newborn baby out of blanket yarn. So you basically make two small uh, blankets out of blanket yarn and then you seam them together so there's this extra squish factor but I didn't take a picture I've already shipped it off uh, that and I made oh and I cleaned out my craft room it took me a week to clean it out and a week later it's back to normal I don't know how that happens anyway um, while cleaning I had found a bunch of random granny squares I guess I make granny squares when I'm stressed and then I just pile them Anyway, I pieced a few of them together. I made cat uh, blankets for the Ottawa Humane Society. I've already donated those. I didn't take pictures of that either. So, and, but they're, you know, small little things. To be honest with you, I've kind of lost my crochet mojo. I have so many whips and so many other interests that I'm not gravitating back to crochet. I don't know what's going on. Crochet is always a soothing thing, and I'll show you why I started one of the projects, because it's mindless. Um, I haven't had the urge to start, even though I have a million projects on the go, I haven't had the urge to finish them, I haven't had the urge to like start something new, or, you know, crochet-wise, so I haven't had the need to post a video. But anyway, I'm going to post a video. I'm going to show you a couple of whips that are ongoing because I have nothing finished uh, and then the other half the rest of this video will be sewing which is something that I've been playing with lately uh, I've also begun canning <laughs> I'm obsessed with canning now I had a really good crop uh, season I had lots of vegetables I mostly grew um, cucumbers peppers tomatoes I even had one watermelon, it was a little baby one like this, it was delicious. Um, stuff like that. So uh, I've been, hubby and I have actually, I think we might actually start a business. <laughs> Kidding. Uh, we started making pepper jelly and everyone loves it. So we've been playing with different kinds of peppers and the different um, heat levels of the pepper jelly. Um, yeah, so and everybody loves it so much. We've been we've done so many cans like or jars of uh, pepper jelly, made tomato sauce and um, salsas and and you know beans and like I've been jarring all this stuff. It's so much fun. So I've been into that. I've gone back to reading books. I've read a couple of books. <laughs> um, what else have I been up to? Lots of things. So gardening of course um, so I, I, I haven't don't have a lot of crochet stuff but I'm gonna show you anyway what I got I'm gonna first I'm gonna show you I am working on I started a uh, temperature blanket with Dina from Dina's homespun fun and we started at the beginning of the year and I'm gonna show you my progress it's all it's getting to the end and the way she wanted it was you do two rows every week and it's on, on the Wednesday of every week and you take the high and the low. So one row is the high, one row is the low. And uh, so I'm going to stand back and show you. This is, this is so far how much I have done. Now what I noticed about temperature blankets is no matter when you start, let's say you start in July from July to July or you start from January to January. The two ends are going to be very similar because if you start in January, it's going to be the this set of colors. Then you're going to go into a second set, like in the middle, in the hot temperatures, and then you're going to finish with cold again. 
So, and then so if you start in July, it's going to be, you know, one set is going to be hot. And then in the middle, which is winter, it's going to be those colors that represent winter. So it's always going to be like that. No matter what you do, <laughs> I don't know what made me think of these things. I'm sitting there one day going, yeah, it'll, it'll always be one set of colors on either end, you know, and then a, a different set in the middle. Anyway, I'm enjoying this tremendously. Uh, the funny thing is what I noticed, and I guess I wouldn't have noticed if I wasn't doing a temperature blanket, is Wednesday was a horrible day to choose. Uh, for us, it, Wednesdays, uh, I never really got into the hot, hot, hot. Like I have three colors of like, um, uh, like hot colors that I didn't even use. But they were hot. It was hot like on the weekends. And it was hot like on the Fridays. But on the Wednesdays, it just never got that hot. Like to use those super bright, bright colors. So I just, <laughs> it was just a, a weird thing, right? I, anyway, I love it. I love how it's turning out. It's going to be a great addition to, to my house. And uh, I'm glad I'm doing it. It's fun. It's easy. It's just a granny, granny stitch. Um, yeah, and it's easy. So anyway, if anybody can figure out, <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter. So I got I up to date on that. I've also, I think a few videos ago, I showed you guys this blanket, which is the um, overlay mosaic. I think last time was up to here. I got only this much done. Um, and this, now I made a mistake. When I talked about this, oh, I'm gonna let me show you. When I talked about this blanket, which is gonna be fabulous once it's done, if I ever get my oof to go back to doing it. This blanket is called Midnight Snowflake by One Skein of Love. And it's a paid for pattern. But the last time I talked about it, I said it was a free pattern, and the and someone asked for the link. And it is, the link that I gave was Winter Sky by Stitches in the Air, which is a free pattern. Anyway, I don't know how I came across this. I was surfing on Ravelry or something, and I came across, and to me, these two blankets looked exactly the same. They're not. If you look real close, they're not the same pattern. But at a, from, you know, a quick glance, that's the same pattern. I contacted, because I purchased this pattern, I contacted the designer, and she says, no, it's not, it's not the same. And I felt so stupid when I started looking at it, and like, it is different. But, and I think this is the one that I gave the person the link to, but if you take a look, it's very similar, but not. It's not the same pattern. Anyway, I'm glad I bought it. And if I ever do another one, I'll do this one. This one's for free. The, like I said, the winter sky is for free and the midnight snowflake is a paid pattern. Uh, they're both using mosaic overlay, just a different kind of chart, different charts, obviously. And uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Both designers were, are, this, design, uh, this designer has a lot more on her site and Ravelry, and this design only has three blankets, that's it. But I'll leave a link to both. You guys have a look if you're interested. I mean, it's great, but I feel silly. I feel silly because I thought I was doing one when meanwhile I was doing the other one. <laughs> but it just goes to show you that, you know, yeah, very similar, very similar. Anyway, thought I'd bring that to your attention, and I can't remember who requested the pattern, and I, I gave her the link I gave you the link for the free one, but it's actually the paid one that I'm working on. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, so that, I did a little bit on that. Um, oh, and let me show you. So, many years ago, I used to make those mermaid blankets, and my daughter was in university at the time, and she sold so many for me. I had so many requests in like a year, year and a half span. I can't even tell you how many I made them. I used to make them out of blanket yarn and it's just so many. I never want to make a mermaid tail again. I mean, I made so many 
Anyway, after that, I ended up with a lot of leftover blanket yarn. So I made scrap blankets. Um, actually, I'm just gonna run and get you one of my older ones and I'll show you. Okay, this is one of my older ones. This one's probably, what is it, 2023? Probably six years old. And we, we I have two of them. I actually made three. I have two of them. Um, we use them on our bed when it's on those super chilly nights. It's really big and it's just blanket yarn and it's just, I think, half double crochet and it's just, I was using up all the scraps and bright colors. Anyway, um, but I made three. One of them, my older daughter got one and when she moved to New Brunswick, she absolutely had to have this one, so I ended up shipping it to her. Um, so anyway, fast forward, she now has a husband and three stepsons, and they all fight for it. So her, my son-in-law, has been bugging me for the last two years to make him his own scrappy blanket yarn, half double crochet blanket. He just wants his own. He wants to tell the kids, Bugger off, you can't have it, it's mine. So I started one, hold on. Okay, so this is the start of his. Now I'm not, that one was done a lot of, a lot of just one row. I decided I'm just gonna go, um, hold on. So I have, this is all I have left of all the blanket yarn from years and years and years ago. I'm, I'll be glad that it's out of my house. But um, there's small balls, little bigger balls left. So what I decided to do is just grab a ball. Uh, as long as it's not the same color as the color before, I'm adding it. And so obviously, like this one is a bigger ball, and then the one after that is a smaller ball. And so that's gonna be my son-in-law's scrappy blanket. This is mindless. And trust me, I need mindless lately. I don't know what it is. Um, I just, I can't get that crochet oomph. I don't know what it is. So I, this is just mindless TV watching. I recently started watching Chicago, Chicago Med. Totally addicted. It's not my kind of thing that I watch, but I'm totally addicted to this show. So I've, this is I think, one season <laughs> of Chicago Med. Anyway, that'll be done, and I'm hoping to give it to him at Christmas. So that, yeah, that's what I, that's all the crochet that I've done. Now, if you wanna go on, you absolutely can. Now is the time to leave. I'm glad you stopped by. Now it's gonna get into the sewing. So, I think I mentioned before, and so did Billy, Billy, the Crafty Floridian, and I came up with this idea to make a quilt for Boggy Creek. Boggy Creek is a camp for terminally ill children, and they get, she collects blankets, like crochet blankets, knit blankets, but they also do quilts, and I think the quilts get displayed. I don't know if this one's gonna get displayed, but anyway, the idea was that I would do one side and Billy would do the other side, uh, and then she would, quilt it together. I don't know how if she's going to machine quilt it or she's, she might actually do, you know, the ribbon quilting or thread quilting. Anyway, um, or not quilting. Anyway, I finally got my top done. Well, almost. I did all of this and then I realized I need one more roll along the top. Oh, there goes my coffee maker. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, it's shutting down so it needs to clean itself. Anyway, so I'm gonna stand back, I'm gonna show you. Uh, this is, oh, it's this way actually, this way. This is the quilt. Okay, so the idea, I don't know what kind of block this is, but what I did was, and this was all using, I, I'm calling this my thrift and gift uh, quilt, because all of this was either gifted or thrifted. Um, so I would find like little like um, like this cat in the hat and then the next one is little doggies and then a seahorse and then I found this this pattern to do 
this kind of quilting and I did and then I found some black but as you can see on the screen which I did all this on my craft room and the lighting is not that great but you see the black is different so I'm hoping that a child doesn't notice <laughs> We'll call it an artistic, you know, whatever. I don't know. I did not notice it until I brought it upstairs in natural sunlight. And I'm going, oh my God, those are two different blacks. But downstairs, this black and this black looks exactly the same. Anyway, so I finally finished that. I bow down to those quilters. You need a lot of patience. And this is not perfect by any means. My corners are not perfect. And, you know, I had fun but I'm not going to be putting pressure on myself anymore like I did with this one um, this had to be done and I hate putting pressure on myself but so I just need to add one more row of six blocks to the top and then uh, send it off to Billy and she will quilt it and I don't think there's a timeline but I didn't want Billy Billy waiting um, so anyway all of this, can you, can you believe that a lot of this was uh, fabric that was thrifted? Like people, I don't know why people get rid of really good fabric. Um, I, I, or maybe I'm just lucky, I don't know. But, uh, you know, people get rid of a lot of good stuff. Um, and then, oh, sorry, hubby's on a hunting trip and the dogs are just... You know, going crazy since he's gone. The other thing that I wanted to show you was, this is gonna be big. I think I showed you the little hexies. These are, this is all sewn by hand. Yeah, uh, I'll leave a link, if I can, I'll leave a link for the uh, TikTok video that I saw this on, and it's a way to make a circle into a hexie, and then you attach all your hexies. I'm making this for our bed, a king-size bed. And that is at the request of hubby. He loves this thing. I'm only going to... Now, this is folded in half because I got most of the top done. Um, but it's got... It is nine feet wide because I wanted it for their king-size bed and some over. But this, see? So I'm working. I don't even know how long it has to be. It has to be very long, probably 12 feet long. Um... But yeah, both sides are done. Um, but it's gonna take me a while to, uh, to get this up. And this is all thrifted or gifted fabric. Um, little pieces, right? So uh, I wouldn't cut up a big piece, but I just cut up all these little pieces um, um, and just start, this is all done by hand sitting on the couch, you make your hexes and then slowly start attaching them. As a matter of fact, my neighbor, she, she's a, actually, she's a uh, stained glass. That's her hobby is stained glass, but her studio is not set up yet at the house because they, they're full time here only for a year now. Um, so they haven't had time to set up her studio um, so she doesn't have, so she came over, she saw this and I sh showed her how to just put together hexes and she's off, she's going, she's making, I don't know, she's making a bunch of projects and she's so addicted. She's worse than I am. Anyway, so this will be for our bed. I love it so much. I can't even imagine what it's going to take to quilt this because it's a, it's going to be a king size. I only have a regular home machine. It's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. <laughs> so, and I'm not even gonna think about that till I get there. I still got a lot to add to that. Uh, so I get that done, and then the last thing I just started this. Um, we, I decided to. I, I don't know if you remember last year. I wanted to crochet stockings for all my children, everybody that was coming. Um, and I started, I made one and it, like when I started putting things in, it just stretched out so much. So I decided I'm gonna make stockings out of fabric and I quilted them. I don't know if you guys can see that, see? I quilted them. And I looked at so many videos and honestly, um, the best one that I came up with, it's got the stand, a regular pattern, like 
you get the link for this. You just two pieces of paper put together. Some of them had like three pieces put together. I'm like, oh my God, it's too much work. This is just literally two pieces. You print it on paper, stick it together. This is your template. And, and it was a guy doing it. I think that's great. Anyway, the channel is called So Yeah. Um, awesome channel for sewing and quilting and stuff like that. And he made it look so easy, and it is so easy. So you cut out your template, you do your quilting, and then you seam it like together and you put a cuff and a handle, done. So I got my first one done. I think, honestly, when this was done over, like I did 10 minutes here, 10 minutes, but I think it was done like in an hour. Uh, so I'm going to make a bunch of these, and that's because I have thrifted a lot of Christmas fabric. Last year I used, I made all gift bags, which is another thing that I've been doing. I've been making gift bags. I'm trying to stay away from wrapping paper. So um, I'm making gift bags again this year. And now I'm going to be making these because I have so much Christmas thrifted fabric. So why not, right? Like who would get rid of that fabric? Look at that, he's a little fox. That's so cute. So cute. Anyway, um, all of the Christmas fabric is thrifted. And uh, yeah, so I made that. So everyone's going to get a stocking. And then my machine does uh, monogramming. Um, it doesn't do embroidery like it's not an embroidery machine. It does special stitches, but it does monogramming. They're really kind of small, but I figured, you know what? If I do like a solid color at the top and then I monogram it in a different color, like white on this or black, you'll be able to see the, the name. It'll still be small. Like I, I can't do big on my machine, but a little monogram is fine. So anyway, I'm excited about that. And that's what I've been up to. That's it. That's all I have. I, you know, I have been buying yarn and stuff, but it's for my swaps. I have three swaps this year. Um, so I've been buying stuff like that. So nothing for Debbie. No, I didn't buy anything for myself. Um, yeah, that, that's about it. I got nothing else. Watching, uh, like I said, I'm, 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 doing little things and watching Chicago Med and <laughs> that's it. That's all I've done. Once, if I'm not gardening, you know, if I'm outside, I'm doing lots of things outside. It's great. So anyway, I hope everyone is having a great fall so far. I think it's, I love the weather. Uh, it's great. And uh, yeah, we will talk soon.